there, fellow homo sapien. Are you looking for a cool place to hang out? Are you looking for a place to spend your time because you have no life just like the rest of us? Well, come on down to Hardy's Cafe, a new Discord designed just for an amazing viewer like yourself. Be sure to check the link in the description to join the server and enjoy the video. This video has mention of possible trigger warnings including suicide, doxing, sexual assault, attempted murder, and manipulative harassment. It is not recommended for younger audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hey there everyone, my name is Angelina and welcome to your daily dose of drama video. Now today, this is going to be my last Lumi Starbun video, while currently Roxana talks on Twitter. In this video, we'll be going over some leaked audios and Luna's recent video, which is meant to explain why she acts the way she does and her past. I've also been given the opportunity to interview past friends of Luna. This video will also contain an interview of Castell or Sergeant Pink. Cass is known as a victim of Luna and has been doxxed and harassed for over two years by her and her fans. Before we spill the situation, I'd like to thank everyone for helping us achieve 3,000 subscribers. The recent support from you guys has been un unfathomable, and I'm so lucky to have each and every single one of you. I'd also like to say that this video couldn't be possible without Cass or Sweaty. They've helped me get in contact with so many new people who can help me spread their experiences with Luna. Thank you girls for helping me out. Please do not witch hunt anybody mentioned in this video. The whole point of this video is to spread awareness and keep everyone safe. Do not contact Lucas. Stay safe everyone and enjoy the video. So for starters, I've been provided with a link to an archived video Luna recently uploaded. The following clip has also been re-uploaded to YouTube. Hello everyone, my name is Crimson and welcome back to a new video. So I know this is my first video on this channel, but I wanted to explain myself a little bit. There's a lot of fake screenshots in there. I'm not racist. I think everybody's equal in their skin color and I respect everyone. Equal to everyone, you know? So right off the bat, Luna is claiming she isn't racist. And um, I've been given evidence that she has disrespected black people and is called Castile an Asian slur. Which, matter of fact, I didn't know was even a thing. But she also claimed that she wants to run over black people with an SUV. Yeah, this, sh this shit's pretty sick. And yes, I made some transphobic comments in the past because I was so selfish and self-centered and I, I wanted to hit someone where it hurts. Okay, so she has admitted to being transphobic in the past, even though she's currently trans as well. I, I don't know why you would do that to somebody. Um. I'm gonna reveal some things to you in today's video that might sound fake, might sound like lies, but I promise I'm going to be crystal clear. So I don't want this to be a pity story but I want it to make you think a little bit. So let's start with my childhood. This whole video is fake. You read off a script. Pity story, here we come. So growing up, I was neglected by my family. Don't, don't, don't like, my parents were never abusive. I have a brother with a lot, a lot of special needs and he was super abusive to me. Lucas just said that their parents weren't abusive, yet less than three days later, they post on Twitter claiming their parents abused them. Luckily, ex fans have found the PNG she used online for her bruises and have debunked that she was hurt in the first place. He also talks about being neglected as a child. They make it seem like this way due to their brother, who Luna claims has a severe form of autism and has a lot of special needs. Um, now I won't say I can relate 100%, but I have a brother who is missing a section of his fifth chromosome. This genetic disability is known as Cree du Chat. Now, normally a kid with special needs who is on the lower functioning end needs more attention from adults. And that can't be helped. They can't always do everything on their own. I would kill small animals as a kid. I would put frogs in little boxes and just watch them die. I would rip flies apart by their legs and their wings. I would do the same to butterflies. She would what? <laughs> like, okay, I get killing ants on the side of the road as a kid, but suffocating frogs? Like, the, the frog? <laughs> I didn't see anything in the world as colorful and amazing and, like, lively. I would just see everything in gray and black and white. Yonder is simulator much, honey? <laughs> Obviously, I haven't hurt someone from that. I haven't killed anyone. I haven't killed any bigger animals than frogs, butterflies, and insects. And mice. But, you know. She claims that she hasn't hurt anyone in the attempt to make them suffer. Lucas, you've leaked people's addresses. Send people to cast his house. You've harassed people who cared about you and sexually assaulted an underage child. You've been put in juvie for attempted murder and you don't give a damn. So growing up with that mentality, I started treating people like they owed me something. I thought the world owed me something. I had a psychopathic tendencies all the time. Like the killing part and the hurting part and 
treating people like they're trash. That's when Castiel comes into the picture. If you don't know what, who Castiel is, it's my arch nemesis or something like that. She wasn't my target, per se. Everybody was my target. And I decided that I was going to be the worst person I could ever be. Because I thought the world owed me for what they just did. The world owes you nothing. <laughs> Everything that happens to people on this planet is given to you by luck or hard work. You don't get anywhere in life if you don't do anything. And the voices in my head had come back at this point. Told me to do things and stuff while we met up the voices came back to me one night i wanted to hurt him she finally admits to wanting to hurt matt i wanted my hands around his neck i didn't want to kill him i just wanted to make him feel like i was in control of this horrible horrible mindset again what was I thinking? So, I got on top of him and I choked him. He can confirm this. He talks about it pretty openly, what I did. He said I tried to murder him, but I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to assert my dominance. Assert my dominance. Yo, if you guys want a shout out, type asserting my dominance in the comment section and I'll try to shout everybody out. Anyway, the rest of this video is just her talking about her yonder reactions, and I don't really care to be honest. I'll link the video in the description along with the social media of the interviewees in this video. But I suppose we should get into the interviews. I've had the honor of interviewing ex-friends of Lucas who were seen in the leaked audio in my last video. I've gathered with them to allow them to share their opinions and provide knowledge about what they've experienced when it comes to Luna. <laughs> so we have Sweaty, Minnie, Shot. I'm not Shoddy, oh my god, Michael, and Buggy. <laughs> we might as well get into this then. So, um, today you guys are here to talk with me a bit about Luna and her whole <coughs> situation. So Sweaty, what do you want to say about this whole thing? Like, do you have any, like, your personal opinion? Or anything it's you want to, anything <laughs> to quote to quote the queen, anything to give light on? Uh, I feel like I'm 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 not sure if you're gonna put this in your video, but like um, the transphobic remarks recently involving her actually, like there's old ones, but now there's like this new one that's gonna surface, and it's like, uh oh, Jesus. And I think like I. Now, I won't be bold to assume that Luna has, like, whatever her preference for her gender is, but I know she went from being male to female and then now wants to go back to being a male again, but never- Like, do you get what I mean? Like, she hid behind the Luna Monroe's and Lumi Starbun persona as a female, but wanted to be male this entire time? Yeah. Apparently, Luna wants to be male and- from what I saw on Twitter, this is what I saw on Twitter, not from her, herself. Um, she's having issues with that because I don't think her mother wants her to come out, actually. She's like, come out when you're 18. I guess her mom maybe wants a different transition? Mm -hmm. I don't know. And but, that's hard because we have no connection to anybody on that end, so... Um, yeah, so it's hard. Okay, do you have... what else concerns you, personally? Um, I just hope she's telling the truth this time around. Like, to be honest, it's just, like, scary to think about even in this situation. Like, I hope, at the best, like, she's gonna get better. Yeah. And that's, like, it. Like... Alright, that's, that's great. Um, alright, moving on. Minnie! It's your turn. Uh... Hi. I... Hi, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Honestly, she just lied so many times. I don't think she's going to get better anytime soon. She says she's going to get better, but she obviously hasn't shown that she she's been better. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Um, So yeah, I, I agree with you guys there, honestly. Like, it's, it's very sad. Um... Because I know she's gonna have to put up, like, 
leaving the internet if if it comes to jobs or whatever in the future and people track down what she's done it's not going to be good for her but um yeah and i i feel bad because i know you guys have to go through with it like th through her crap with her and i even know like sweaty still here was talking to her when she was talking about the abortion and stuff and that's got to be really bad on you guys and i i couldn't do it myself so honestly props to all of you guys you guys are amazing but um, yeah, if you don't have much else at the moment to say, we'll move on to uh, Michael, because he's next. Uh, move on to Michael. I have nothing else. All right. All right. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Atrocious. Uh... <laughs> Tom Nook, oh my god, sorry. That got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spill my seal, please. Okay, um, all right, Michael, so... What is your current beliefs on Luna's situation and how you think it's going to turn out? I think that she needs to just get off the internet. Uh, she's not, she's clearly not going to get any. She is like, she always says that she's going to like do something or like fix herself. And then she goes back on it like two days later. I can like, I can almost guarantee you she's going to private this video just like she did with the last apology. She's... Yeah. She always just goes back on what she says, and she says that she's gonna, like, you know, rebrand herself, but then a new drama comes along, and she just changes her name again. She never fixes anything. She's such a hypocrite and a liar. Like, she promises that she's not gonna lie about anything, but she's lying through her teeth. Like, through everything that she says. Fake mask, right? These videos. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. awful stuff, and it's... Not good for anybody that witnesses it. It's like it's it's like a dare I say it, it's like a virus, honestly. Um Yeah. But even like the whole manipulation thing, how even in that video, I like I I, I was in shock by most of the stuff she said, and I don't know why that's even relevant to what's happening. It's more of like a sob story, even though she said it was Right. She just wants people to feel bad for yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. And then she it's dumb too, cause she says in the video that she wants the negative attention. Cause she wants right. people to- Yeah, like that's all it's doing is bringing her the <laughs> attention. And that's why- That's I, all she wants. Exactly. And that's why when Nani uploaded that video, I was like sitting there watching it. I'm like, this is just gonna feed into what she wants. Like, right. She doesn't show a single piece of proof for like anything that she says. And oh, just about everything can be debunked. Cause she has lied Ex so much. Like, exactly. It literally. It's, and it's funny, too, because if you went into her old description, she says there that um you shouldn't believe anything. You can't prove 100%. And then this girl yeah. makes a video about light and says all this stuff. Same thing about Matt. Doesn't show screenshots or anything. Like, it's... That, and, like, she'll edit screenshots, too. Like, even... And that's just if... crooked on its own. It's not okay, either. Right. And she claims that people are, like, editing screenshots of her being a racist. <laughs> when... No. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, like, with that, when it comes to that stuff, I know she also has blamed lots of what she says and does on her, um, like, her mental state and her disabilities and all that. And I don't think that's any excuse. Yeah. Like, it's not. It's, sure, it, it may cause lots of things, but you can own up to that and attempt to change. And a lot of the things that she say. says, of, like, about the disorders that she has is just either, like, fake or just downright offensive. And it's yeah. not, it's not okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, unless you had anything else, or if you want to keep going, we can just keep going, or if you're good on That's all I had to say, I've been angry enough. <laughs> Alright, um, so then, if you're done, um, Buggy is next. Hello. Um, Hi, Buggy. Sorry if it's loud in the background, <laughs> my family is all home right now. Oh no, you're perfectly fine. Okay. There is just one major thing that I want to say, is that... Using your past as an excuse as to why you did things is so wrong to me because especially me and my family, my sisters and I have gone through a lot, but we never used it to excuse our bad behavior. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I, I would honestly call it narcissistic. Um, it's bad to do that. Like you shouldn't use, you should like, cause you know, when people go through stuff, some people let it get to them and that yeah. but eventually they can get through it you know what i mean or they better themselves from it <laughs> but you can't just be like oh well you know i um i treated this person this way because they did that to me that's, that's just not how it works it's normally because you want a reaction out of somebody or you want something 
Like exactly. It's, yeah, it's like I know they say like you know oh this person bullies people because they were bullied, but it's like no, no that's not. That's not an excuse. That's not how it works. Just because somebody treated you like crap, you don't have to go around treating other people like crap. Right? I don't know. Every mindset is like different. Mm -hmm. But if you go through something bad, usually you're like, I would never wish that on somebody else. Yeah, because you've lived through it, and you know how terrible it is to feel that way, right? Like, it's mm -hmm. it, it's brutal. It's honestly, and it's not okay at all. I don't have much experience with her, really. Well, it must have been a very exciting, like, four months for you, but, um... <laughs> 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 but, yeah... Exactly, so you guys can all like unmute now if you guys want, and we can just like, yeah. I go eat sushi now. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I just wanted to thank you guys for this interview because honestly, it's gonna really help out and hopefully allow me to finally put all this crap on my channel to rest, even though I'm yes. I'm not complaining about the views, man, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. Uh, it's tired. Yeah. So you want to do like gaming content because I also <laughs> subscribed and I was like, oh, hi, Pixel. And She's, then I was oh like, oh, God, no, we don't talk about my Minecraft content. Okay? She's going to force bro, you to you should hit me up and play Minecraft. Oh, my God. Yeah, let us know, bro. Yeah. Now that interview was quite something. <laughs> Let's move on to the interview with Castiel. Well, I feel like the most important thing is definitely how much she's tried to affect my mental health while claiming she has the same you know, things. I'm mm -hmm. not really someone who opens up about these things, but she she um, she um knows a lot about me because she talked to my old friends. And she knows that I have diagnosed PTSD from a situation with one of my parents. And okay. she has used it against me severely, which is why the situation that's happening now where she claims that her parents are abusive and photo photoshopped bruises on herself has been really difficult for me because I have, you know, I can show you medical documents if you need it. I've been in like a mental hospital before because she's triggered, you know, like um, seizures for me before from saying these things. Like she, I'll send you screenshots. She said yeah. like, I'm happy, I'm happy you got um, assaulted, I'm happy you got yeah, I've seen those, those stuff, tweets. Yeah, stuff like that. And then she claims that this has happened to her, and it's just absolutely disgusting to me because, um, you know, she she mocks people and victims. She's done it multiple times. I'm not the only person. There's like a screenshot where she's like, oh, you're a victim of what? You're one of those people who lies about it and stuff like that. It's just like disgusting. She acts like she's affected yet mocks people who actually are and it's completely just disrespectful. It is. Like I've tried so hard. Like I've given her so many chances to try and help her after she's done all this to me. And then she just like threatens me she's like if you don't get me in a call with matt i will slit my wrists she said that to me like full out and i was just like, like well it's, yeah it's gross because i've seen too like i don't know why of all things you even came back to try to help her with the whole matt thing because i, I would be done in your happy. position matt has done some terrible things to me along with Rumi. he he helped her some people to my house and he lied about it and he apologized to you and other youtubers but i've never gotten an apology from him um the only thing that I say that I've ever done to provoke Lumi that wasn't justified, because I think the video was definitely justified, she was drawing, like, underage characters doing... Yeah, stuff. and that's a big um, problem. People don't like that either. Uh, absolutely. She, she was, like, 14 when she was drawing that. It was just really <sighs> gross. And that's what my video was about, mostly. Um, but... What was I gonna say? Um, I was talking about... Oh, right, 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 sorry. Um, I would get harassment saying, like, you're just as bad as Luna, you're blah, blah, blah. The only thing I've ever done to her is redraw, like, one of her drawings because mm -hmm. she stole all my friend's entire characters. She's cheated on my friend before. She made, like, an alternate account called Mimi, mm -hmm. and she was dating my friend as Mimi. That's gross. And then she faked her suicide and then got back together. This was while she was dating Matt by the way. Wait, so she faked her suicide as Mimi? Yes. To get then, to your friend? Um, to make my friend upset. And then oh said, oh, I'm, 
And then like a week later, just said, wait, I'm not dead, I'm sorry. And then she dated. And then my friend, well, I didn't know them then. I didn't know them. I'm friends with them because they found out Mimi was um, Luna. Uh-huh. Um, at the time, they were Lucas. Yeah. Um, and there's a point where they even, like, this was when they tried to be friends with me again. Um, mm-hmm. They said in their video they wanted to be friends with me because I was someone that seemed easily manipulated. Okay, I had another question. I don't know if this is frequent or not. I saw some posts about it somewhere, and I don't know if I have. I'm pretty. I think I might have the um, screenshots. It was a art piece that Luna had done back when she was, I think, Rux, and uh-huh. it was there was a girl in the back of a car with a boy, oh. and then Luna was driving. Yeah, that was um, Luna kidnapping me and my friends. Holy fuck. Yeah, she drew it. Um, I can find it somewhere. She accidentally unprivated her private account once, and yeah. I found the full drawing, and it was my character and a bunch of other people that I knew, like, tied up in the back of a car. We kind of talked about it, but, like, how do you feel about the whole, what she's doing currently? Like, I'm just so tired, I guess. Um, I, I, all, I just have, like, no opinion on anything anymore. Like, I mean, I feel disgusted, I guess, but it's just, like, I have been to this rodeo like 20 times, more than that, and I am so tired of this. I just want her to leave the internet and I want her to stop hurting people. The only reason I'm still here and haven't like left and continued my life is because there's so many people that would have gotten hurt if I didn't tell them for him. Yeah, and it's I find it's, it's bad too now because there's still people out there who want to be Luna's friend. Absolutely, and they just get hurt. You know, yeah, that's, exactly. That's what happened to Sweaty and stuff. They like they didn't they ignored me and they um, you know, they got hurt and now they hate her. You know, it's just a constant loop. Like this is like the fifth era of friend group that she's that they've ignored my warnings and then became friends with Luna and then got hurt and now they like me. This is like the fifth time. Like there's like like five groups that I know of that have been like this and it's just so annoying. And I have the I don't have the receipts to prove it at this point because I decided to you know clear out my the conversation because it made me upset. But um I had been contacted by somebody claiming their name was Alex and that they are uh, that Luna didn't dox you and that it was them originally who oh, helped. You told me about that. No, yeah. she has done it multiple times where she makes alternate accounts pretending to be someone else. She's pretended to be like one of my family members before. She's pretended to be um, someone named Ollie, saying that Ollie made the exposing account, which later turned out to be her account. Um, mm-hmm. She has pretended to be one of her friends. IRL trying to expose me or trying to expose her in my DMs. It was just mm. really weird to the point where if someone new messages me, I just feel like it's going to be her because it's happened like 10 times, I feel like, maybe more. She's admitted she has over 50 Discord accounts. Yeah, it's. Like she was mentioned in both my visits to um, the mental hospital because of her. Um, yeah, she was mentioned in all of those. Um, I can show you that and everything because um, she's actually just seriously like I've gotten diagnosed with um, suicidal tendencies because of her behavior. I'm not usually one to open up about my mental health because I don't really like to be seen in that angle, but I feel like it's very important to share in this situation because I just don't want anyone else to get affected like this. And I hope that eventually one day this all just stops and you can be free from it all and it'll be... I'm sure, I'm sure one day we're gonna get a good conclusion. I think that the YouTuber is currently talking about Luna, um, although they aren't sharing most of it, um, I think that if I spread enough awareness, then I think that people will stop falling for her lies. I've just seen so many people being hurt by her and I just don't really want it to happen anymore. Like, good or bad, if you, like, people are like, oh, well, I just want to help change her. She, she cannot be changed. Everyone that's always said that and has blocked me that I was friends with saying, I want to help Luna, why are you upset that I'm friends with her, has been severely, like, hurt over this situation because Luna just kicked them, like, down and I I can put you in contact with multiple people that this has happened to where they stopped talking to me because Luna said that I was manipulating them and hating her or something. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, 
The thing is, it doesn't seem like it'll happen to you until it does. She's very, very good at manipulating people. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's like you don't think it's going to happen to you because you know what happens. But as soon as she starts talking to you and stuff, you just believe immediately what she's saying. I've just seen it happen so many times. So just don't contact her no matter what. Um, she won't take criticism. Um, just don't give her the attention. She loves it. So there's someone, I know their username, but I'm not going to say because they don't want to be talked about anymore. Okay. Nina has been arrested for, she was 14 at the time, I think, for sexually talking, like sexting a nine-year-old. Oh, what um, the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. I, I can, I'll message you the username so that you know it's true. But okay. um, uh, I don't want to. Yeah, I won't check it. Well. Um, you can take this with a grain of salt if you like, because I don't want to post this because it involves the minors' information, and they asked me not to talk about it anymore. Oh yeah, um, and we don't need to expose the. We don't need Copa coming after us, okay? We don't need to talk about the minors, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I believe I believe what you say. Yeah, she, so. she has. Um, I, I just don't want to involve them any more than they need to be because they are so over the situation yeah she has been arrested for that and she's also been arrested for attempted murder of so, who um, or what, what may i ask not not specifically she, who she but, um, she's admitted to it actually i send you she's admitted to being arrested for attempted murder and she's been in jail before so oh um, she has just done a lot of really scary things and this is just someone that our community does not want who don't care about what you have to say i completely understand not wanting an artist that you like to have done these things but i just don't want anyone else hurt um something else i wanted to mention is that no one should contact matt either just like don't send him hate or anything don't talk to him because he he helped her send people to my house and he helped her do these things and lied about it so I feel like he also, um, he's also lied about very, um, temperamental topics as well, and I just, I feel like he's just as capable, um, of doing the same things as Luna, because he's done the same things as Luna at the same time. And then absolutely, um, he, he called me for about eight hours acting like he didn't want to talk to Luna anymore, and it turned out that Luna told him to do this, and he wanted to do it. He didn't even have to call me, according to her. Um, he just wanted to mess with me to get information out of me, and when I told him, it's okay, um, like, I was comforting him for, like, eight hours. He even fake cried in the call multiple times, um, and then he left after eight hours, blocked me, didn't give me any explanation, and it turns out that he just used me for information that I had, uh, just make sure not to, I understand that he's been through things as well, but, um, I, I can tell you that, he hasn't been through years of it, and I have more experience in the situation, I'd say, and that just don't contact either of them. Neither of them deserve any attention because he um, he's gaining off of this, and he likes it, I suppose, and it's concerning to me. I, I, I don't hate Matt if he's listening to this. Like, I don't hate you. I just don't want you to do the same things that Luna has done, and it seems like you are main yeah main main thing people can get from this is to stay away (laughs) and to like understand what is not okay and that this is happening and this is real life and Um, this is what is happening if anyone has any questions or needs me to send a certain screenshot um i'm open to it i get dms all the time asking for my side and if anyone wants like any has anyone has any questions i'll totally answer them yeah i'll be i'll be sure to link you um (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, that's that. There's probably Ish. more, but I can't really think of anything else at the time. Um, yeah, and that's oh, that's okay. I have an hour and five minutes worth of. Oh, that, yeah, go that's through. that's good. I think. <laughs> I'll admit that interview was heavy as hell to listen to. It was hard to listen to the shit that Lumi has done to Cass. It's honestly disgusting and downright inhumane. Cass, nor anybody, does not deserve this harassment. And like we said, guys, please do not contact Lumi or Lucas for any reason whatsoever. It's not safe. 
I'll provide social medias and discords of Cass in the group I interviewed within the description if you guys would like to contact them on the matters. Anyways, thank you once again for 3k. You're all so amazing and I love you guys so much. I would love to hear what you guys think and your, what your opinions are on the situation. Be sure to check out my discord and community tab to vote on video matters and keep up to date with what I'm doing. Subscribe to stay updated with my content and like and share the video with your friends if you guys want to support the channel. Thank you and I'll see you guys all in the next one.